Redwood National and State Parks are home to the tallest trees on Earth. Together, Redwood National Park, Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park, Del Norte Coast Redwood State Park and Paree Creek Redwood State Park protect almost 40,000 acres of redwood forest, which is about half of today's existing old-growth redwoods. If you're looking for the best hikes in the parks, look no further. In this video, you'll see 13 of the best hikes in the parks. We'll start with the shortest hike and work our way to the longest. Stout Grove Trail is a just 0.7 mile long loop and takes about 30 minutes to hike. Located along the beautiful Smith River, this 44 acre grove is considered the heart of Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park. Although this trail became very popular and the parking lot fills up regularly on summer afternoons, Stout Grove is called the most scenic stand of Redwoods for a reason. Visit this place between 3 and 4 in the afternoon and you'll experience a cathedral-like atmosphere when the sun slants into the grove. The one mile long Simpson Reed Trail is another loop in Chattadaya Smith Redwood State Park. Following the Smith River, this easy hike on level ground takes about 20 minutes. Till 2011, when the trailhead was moved, the Simpson Reed Trail was the most visited trail in the park. Today, its well-hidden location makes it less used and more enjoyable. This trail is more jungle-like and dense than most other hikes, and it's home to a wider variety of plants that cover nearly every accessible surface. Our third trail is the hike to Klamath Overlook in Redwood National Park. This one mile long out and back trail takes about 35 minutes and is considered moderately challenging due to its steepness. At the end of the trail, you'll experience one of the North Coast's most impressive views at 600 feet above Klamath River's mouth. From the overlook, you can spot whales, sea lions and seals. It's also a popular place for bird watching and there won't be as many people as on the first two trails. Fern Canyon Trail is 1.1 mile long and located in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. Hiking this loop means experiencing half an hour of another world. As the name says, you'll walk this trail along a shallow stream in a mini canyon lined with ferns. It's probably the most popular trail in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park, so either come as early as possible in the day or be prepared to share the canyon with other hikers. Parts of the Lost World Jurassic Park were filmed here, so you might have already seen Fern Canyon on TV. Often considered the most popular trail at Redwood National Park, the Lady Bird Johnson Grove Hike. This 1.5 mile loop takes about 30 minutes and is an easy hike for the whole family. At the beginning of the hike, you'll walk among second growth forests, but after crossing the hikers bridge, you'll experience ancient, old growth redwoods. Being wheeled in fog often due to its higher location compared to other trails, hiking this trail is quite an experience. It's the most visited trail in Redwood National Park for a reason. Trillium Falls Trail in Redwood National Park is 2.6 miles long and takes about 70 minutes to hike. This moderately challenging loop combines huge redwoods and peaceful streams with a small waterfall, which is only one reason why rangers praise Trillium Falls Trail as the best little hike in the park system. Other reasons would be the great parking and picnic options. If you wanna see one of the Roosevelt elk herds that live in the park, there's a good chance to do so at the parking area. The Prairie Creek, Big Tree and Cathedral Trees Trail is a 2.9 mile long loop in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park and takes about 70 minutes to hike. Starting at the Prairie Creek Visitor Center, you'll wander along the Cathedral Trail and past the popular Big Tree Wayside and Elk Prairie. You'll love the combination of the old growth Cathedral Trees Grove and the creek. And there are also two tree tunnels. And again, good chances to spot a Roosevelt Elk. Tall Trees Grove Trail in Redwood National Park is a 3.3 mile long loop trail and takes about 2 hours to hike. For this trail, you'll need to apply 24 to 48 hours in advance for free online permits to access. Beginning high, the trail descends for 1.5 miles before winding through maple trees and towering redwoods. It's relatively remote and you'll experience a tunnel bridge, fallen trees and holes in the trees big enough to walk inside. Hike number 9 in this video is Damnation Creek Trail in Del Norte Coast Redwood State Park. This 3.4 mile long out and back trail takes about 1.5 hours and is, due to a 1100 foot elevation drop that has to be climbed up again, probably the most challenging hike in this list. Especially in spring, the blooming rhododendrons make this trail a fascinating experience. 
also the view of the coastline differentiates it from other hikes. At the creation of this video, a bridge about 1.7 miles from the trailhead is closed to public access due to a structural failure. You can still hike to the bridge, but access to the beach from the trail is closed until further notice. The Boy Scout Tree Trail in Chattadaya Smith Redwood State Park is a 7.1 mile long out and back trail that takes about 3 hours to complete. Being one of the most scenic hikes in the park, this trail features one of the most impressive old growth redwood forests in the world. Due to its remoteness, it's also well isolated from sound, which creates, combined with the fox of this region, a mystic experience. If you follow a spur at the end of the trail, you can see the actual Boy Scout tree, which is named after a local troop leader and its discoverer. The James Irvine Trail is a 10.4 mile long out and back trail in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. Although the average 4.5 hours to complete sound like a lot, this is a rather easy and fast hike. Considered one of the best redwood hikes in the world, the James Irvine Trail crosses creeks and runs through an amazing array of old growth redwoods. If you hike the entire trail, it will take you down to the ocean, where it brings you to the entrance of Fern Canyon. Redwood Creek Trail in Redwood National Park is 15.7 miles long and an out and back trail that takes about 6 hours to complete. But most hikers spend a night in the wilderness and split the hike into two parts. Being the second most visited trail in Redwood National Park, it's mostly level, has no shortage of stunning views and it's the only trail in the park where it's allowed to camp anywhere along the creek. You can hear, but usually not see, the Redwood Creek throughout the entire hike. Before we talk about the last trail, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our videos in the future. By far the longest trail in Redwood National and State Parks, but mostly hiked in sections, the Coastal Trail, which is 17 miles long, running through Redwood National Park, Prairie Creek Redwood State Park and Del Norte Coast Redwood State Park. Depending on how far you want to hike the Coastal Trail, it will take you a few hours to a week. As the name says, this trail is different to the other trails mentioned, not just due to its length. While hiking along a coastal bluff, you'll hear the sounds of sea lions and gulls amidst the crashing waves. Go tide pooling on secluded beaches and maybe even spot a grey whale in the distance. Section mileages range from 3.5 to 6 miles. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn about California's other amazing national parks, be sure to watch our video about them.